question that we got a lot this week was um, how do estrogen and progesterone affect the thyroid? Can you do hormone replacement therapy if you have hypothyroidism, if you have Hashimoto's autoimmune thyroid, if you have Graves, if you have um, if you're on thyroid medication, either Synthroid or Armor or Cytomel or any of the thyroid medications. Um, so what's the deal? Like some doctors say you cannot use hormone replacement therapy. Other doctors say it's fine. So what is the relationship? So um, basically your hormones are kind of like Goldilocks and the three bears. Too much is bad. Too little is bad. And then just the right amount is good. And that's true for estrogen and progesterone in relation to the thyroid. So um, what, how they impact the thyroid is kind of a few different ways. So estrogen stimulates thyroid growth. So if you have too little estrogen, so if you're in menopause and you're no longer making estrogen, and you're not replacing it, or if you're in perimenopause and you're not making enough estrogen, that can result in not enough thyroid tissue, which can result in um, not making enough thyroid hormone. If you have too much estrogen, if you are either making too much estrogen or getting too much estrogen because your doctor is giving you hormone replacement but is not testing you, then overdosing estrogen, there are doctors that do very high doses of estrogen. We only do the dose that would be a physiological dose. So the dose that the body would expect to have to get to the optimal level. So too much can give you an enlarged thyroid gland. So too much estrogen, enlarged thyroid gland, too little estrogen, shrinking thyroid gland, not enough thyroid tissue and not enough thyroid hormone. So too little estrogen can actually be a reason that you're a hypothyroid. Um, estrogen also stimulates the thyroid to make something called thyroglobulin. And thyroglobulin is important. Um, if you have too little thyroglobulin, you can also get an enlarged thyroid gland and you need estrogen to make thyroglobulin. So another important fact, and estrogen also increases the protein that um, carries thyroid hormone in the blood. So if you don't have enough, your thyroid hormone won't be able to get into your cells and do what it needs to do. And if you have too much, um, then it, it can get bound up. So estrogen, super important for your thyroid. Progesterone also is important for your thyroid as well. Um, if you don't have adequate amounts of progesterone, then um, you can have um, too much bound up thyroid as well. And then also the thyroid is important for your ovaries to make progesterone. So it's kind of like a give and take relationship. Um, progesterone deficiency can hinder the production and function of your thyroid hormones and estrogen can inhibit the function of your thyroid. If it's excess deficiency can result in too little thyroid hormones. So um, the key here is if you're going to replace hormones to make sure that you are working with someone who's testing your hormones and giving you what's called a physiological dose. That is a dose that is going to get you to an optimal level, not an overdose. A lot of doctors I've seen, I've seen patients come into my practice and we test them the first time they have ridiculously high levels of estrogen or testosterone or progesterone because their doctors are giving them mega doses. And that's the danger.